So from your desktop folder or desktop, if you right click and select new and then text document, if you press enter, because we're not going to rename it right this time, and then enter again to open it. Now I'm going to type in two lines. The first line will be at echo off. So it's at the at symbol, then the word echo, then space, then off. Then I'm going to type the line start, then space, xl.exe. Now this line will start the Excel executable. So we're going to save this as a Windows batch file. So to do this, we click File, then Save As. And I'm just going to save it to desktop and I'm going to rename it Start Excel. And we're going to end it by typing dot bat. That file extension is for a Windows batch file. And for it to be saved as a batch file, from the save as type drop down list, if we select all files and then click save, then we can close this notepad file. And you can see we have a new Windows batch file called Start Excel. So I can show you how this works. So if I just open or if I click and open this, it will execute that command that we've just typed in. And you can see it has opened Microsoft Excel. So to execute this file when your computer starts, if you open the run command from your Windows PC, so I'm clicking on the Windows menu button and selecting run and if you type shell and then colon and then start up this will open the startup folder on your windows pc and then you can simply drag and drop your start excel batch file into your startup folder and this will automatically execute the batch file that we've just created when your computer starts bye bye